Cause I'm cool. I don't know what I want to revive. Metachamp's probably the best way to go, honestly. And we'll use the other lemonade. And now it'll be. Actually, let's use a hyper potion. On Espion. Okay. Let's keep rolling. I'm sure there's some sort of. Um, <coughs> I'm sure there's some sort of healing station in here. I mean, it is a, a dungeon. Mirabee's cave. Mi Mirabee's cave even has a dungeon. We have the downstairs key. I'm just gonna call it downstairs key. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Oh, surprise, bitch! You're not supposed to be in here. Try for peon Larry, but like the battle. Why would you even have security like that, by the way? Who just jumps from the ceiling? It just seems bad to me. Oh look, as soon as I switch out my type, as soon as I choose Manacham over Typhlosion, thingy comes in. I'm not sure if Nuzleaf is half half dark type yet. I know its evolution is half dark type. I'm not sure if it's half dark type yet. Considering Houndor is half dark type, I would assume. Yes. Okay, I would assume right. As soon as the thunder hits it. I swear to God, if you don't hit Espeon. Like. Okay, that's fine. You know, I'm gonna do something that- Oh, did I get rid of- Oh, this is Mandachan. That's fine. You can use Helping Hand. To make sure Mandachan one hit KOs. Come on, don't you dare miss. Is that freaking plane still flying around? God, it's like a jet in Battlefield. You just circle the map. Except you're circling whales, or possibly Tlinvi, or possibly my steak, or possibly Nanti, or possibly John Street. Oh no, I've given out my address. I really don't care. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, these are all dark types. Espeon is pretty much useless here. But he can put some poison on people too. <laughs> Nuzleaf's like, whoa, purple powder, man. Dude, this is awesome. Okay, Magic, I'm still doing his high jump kick. Critical hit. Super effective. Carvana is gone. Alright, we're getting back in the swing of things. Oh, here comes Murkrow. Which is a ghost type, I want to say. I don't. I, it might be dark actually, considering this is a dark team. Ooh, what did he even use? I think it was like astonish, maybe. Let's pull an arm for us, my surefire Pokemon catcher, which hasn't missed a non-legendary except for Remoraid yet, which I'm happy about. So Medicham, you do high jump kick on Nuzleaf, and you can do Thunderbolt. I'm hoping. Oh, you've got to be twice in one freaking battle. You retard. Oh, he did finish that last. Finish <laughs> the last, uh, last bell. Oh, wait, that freak. Does that hit? Oh, Alright. Uh, some moves hit while they're up in here. Alright. Some. I'm gonna use a hyper potion on Metacham because I know that flying attack is coming for Metacham. Without a doubt. And I'm for us, you use Thunderbolt on the Murkrow. Is it coming for Metachan like I predicted? It is! And it survived! Yay! But hopefully, Faint Attack doesn't go for Metachan. Yay! My efforts were not gone for naught. And now Thunderbolt can hit, and. You know what? If I KO it, I do not care. I can probably get it after the game's finished, yeah. My second Pokemon that I've missed so far in the series. And I don't have an excuse for this one, except that I guess I was 
hoping my Pokemon was shit. <laughs> Let's go for high jump. And Thunderbolt. And my cat is licking my hand. And he's got his claws dug in because he wants to lick it and clean it. Because it's probably full of grime or something. <laughs> Please get off my hand, Cyrus. Thank you. Come again. Whoa, I got like a big like wall of text on my audio feed. I'm gonna quickly heal up just in case. I'm hoping my audio is okay. Like I really need to do some adjusting. This mic is iffy at the best. Ooh, up there is important. Pretty much. That's one of the most important parts of the actual place. Surprise, bitch! It's off limits beyond here. Cypher P on Vana would like to battle. Vana, maybe. <laughs> Pupitar, who's dark type, and Zubat, who's poison type. And flying type, this could actually be a good match. Alright. <coughs> so I've had the coughing again. And uh, let's use high jump kick on the Pupitar and the Thunderbolt on the Zubat. Bam! Super effective, but it's very defensive. Yeah, it still goes down. Great. I said Amphros wouldn't actually have a place in this dungeon and it's pretty it's been pretty widely used. Oh, I should be able to take that down. I think it's half steel. And it's shadow. Right. I'm probably gonna let it go away <laughs> because I'm gonna have to use the high jump kick on it. Wing attack's gonna hurt my champ. Oh, that's not too bad. And Bros uses the Thunderbolt, which should one hit KO it. Good job, Meta champ. Uh, and for all. All right, well if Fortress survives, which it probably won't, I'll throw an Ultra Ball at. I jump kick. Ooh, that's actually not doing much damage. I guess the bug type. I think it's bug steel, which it, I guess balances out. That could be bad. Oh, safeguard puts up status. Can um, that means I can't paralysis uh, par paralyze? Is what I'm looking for here. That means I can, uh, because it protects it protects against all status conditions. I can't actually paralyze the shadow Pokemon for capture. Got turn. Let's use high jump kick and and for us you heal up Medicham. God, I'm going through hyper potions so fast. Oh, you bitch! You bitch! 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 <laughs> Crit! Oh, still survive though. So it's okay. It's okay. You know, I think it's too low. To no, no, it's not too low. High jump kick will work. I'm I've gone out of hyper potions, great. <gasps> oh you absolute twit. <laughs> you absolute twit. I should still be able to use a high jump kick and let it survive. Thunder Wave won't do anything. Let's try and catch it just in case it does die. Oh, that was absolutely retarded. I can't believe it missed two times in a row. It's like... It's bad. That was much easier than Apom, surprisingly. You think you're tough? I kind of do. Yay. Okay, now I need... I don't even know what type of potions I have left. Do I have any normal potions? Like, yeah, I do have one potion left. Well, actually, Amphros isn't that badly damaged, so... I can pretty much go with him. Right, I'm gonna go back to that branching path. I saw an elevator. Oh, it does open from the side. And there's a key. DNA sample? Oh, yeah, yeah, I found one of the DNA samples. You, uh, need three of those, I believe to actually access the end of the dungeon. 
So let's come back down here to the elevator. And hope there's a um heal point. So. Damn it, this is like a big ass dungeon. Oh! Surprise bitched. <laughs> Cypher P on Lezer. Lezer! <laughs> I'd like the battle. Rhyhorn and Ariados. Not too bad. Not too bad. The thing about Rhyhorn is he has a move, uh, ability called Lightning Rod, which I pretty I think I've covered that before. But ev any electric type move done while Rhyhorn's on the field will oh shit will be drawn to Rhyhorn. And since it's a rock ground type, it's negated completely. But since Amphros, I still got the freaking Macho Brace on it. Uh, since I have Frost as Macho Brace, it, it, it probably won't attack last, and I can just kill Rhyhorn before it, yep, before it attacks. So, that's my strategy going forward. And out comes Grovile, which is a Hoenn starter. It's the second evolution of, um, Trico. And it's the pre-evolution of Sceptile. What? How did it go down so quickly? Um... Go with Fortress, because bug type. Actually, I won't have any bug type moves because it's Shadow. Oh shit, this might be bad. Do some damage, okay? I will use. I want to use Thunderbolt, but I want to just catch that area dose. So if I do die, which I I don't care about wipe wiping out. I I've said before, this is one a casual playthrough. And two, I suck at Pokemon, so if I die, it's not like a, a massive destruction of my reputation. I've, I've already done it twice. Or well, three times, actually. Four times, consider if you consider boss fights. Hey! But if I do white out, if I come back, then uh, that Aridos will still be off his team, and I only have to deal with Grove Island. Thank you, Jiggy. So how much? Oh! Oh, no. <laughs> How much damage can you do with Shadow Rush, Fortress? Critical hit! One-shotted! Good job, Fortress. You're still not actually a Pokemon. You're still not actually a Pokemon I'm using. I said Amphoros doesn't have a place in this dungeon. It's the only one that hasn't fainted yet. Alright, we'll go down that elevator, or whatever it is. And we'll go back and heal from that PC in the other room, in the other building. Alright, this is not... A healing station, so yeah, and that's definitely going to be trainers down there. So I'm going to cut this out. I will B R B. All right, we're back, and we got our dream team back up front. Uh, oh yeah, we go this way. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have someone jump jump down on me any second now. Oh, there's an item. Someone's gonna jump down. No, I bet they're gonna jump down behind me though. It's a full restore, actually. That's a good move. It restores all of your HP, and it, so it's like a max potion. But it also restores... Ooh, is that a way out? Is this? Wait, Ein's in here, I'm pretty sure. I'm sorry. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. That's a mistake. Is there any reason to actually be in here? I don't see one. I'm gonna try and sneak past this guy. Ooh, I can. Oh, look, there's Ein. You can see Ein. The doctor. Um, yeah. <laughs> Someone's definitely jumping down here, though. Bam. Sweeties, you've caused enough mischief already. Cypher P on Tani would like to battle. So, let's see how my dream team can do. They're probably going to get killed already. Ooh, a Granbull. That can be good. And a Linumi. That could be okay. The Granbull is Shadow now. I bet you anything. If it is, that would actually make things easier. Bam! Called it. <laughs> oh no. Whatever, Linoon still probably can't stand up to a high jump kick. Bam! Oh, that's okay, that's okay. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. She looks good to me. Ooh, that's good. That's good. That's good. 
as good as she is. Alright, it's a normal base team, so I assume something normal is going to come out. Oh, it's a Vigoral. Also something I would like to use on my team. Vigoroth is one of the strongest Pokemon ever because it's got really great stats. But the th the thing about it that makes it kind of balanced is the fact that it's, it's pre-evolution and its evolution all have an ability that means that it can attack on the every other turn. But this Pokemon, it doesn't have that ability, so watch out for it. It has really great stats. And this Aerialist will show it. I'd probably one hit KO me now. Oh well, if it <laughs> Never mind, I just, I just got, um. I just uh, got disproved, kind of. Thanks, figure off. Whatever. It still probably will survive this, though. Oh no. Thanks, figure off. Thanks for supporting the cause, dude. Level 44. Typhlosion, you use Smokescreen. And Metacham, you use an Ultra Ball. Look at that health, come on. T t tell me that this won't be a catch. The game will. I've, ca I've caught like half, half health Pokemon today. Why can't I catch like... Right, come on. Come on. Hey, there we go. Not defying... Me. <laughs> Your mischief is going overboard. I... I highly doubt that. Alright, which one is to be going down? I'll choose this one first. Zoo? What's going up? Oh, this is back to the main part. Oh, no, 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 no. This is, uh, yes. We can't actually do anything with this yet. But this is important. Watch out for that. Okay, so if we go, this one's gonna go down, right? No, it goes up as well. Mm, interesting. I want all the talks. 